So here we are, 16th of September, 2021, and gonna have a quick look around the polytunnel. Uh, I have been busy this year, but we managed to get in here and do a little bit of work. This area here is supposed to be just a courgette and some sweet corn, but a load of volunteer tomatoes, which I did see them coming up, and I thinned them out a bit, but probably not enough. But they've been trimmed, and there's a few tomatoes there, but they weren't really um, supposed to be there. The sweet corn, it's not doing too bad. We've, we've had a couple of good cobs off each one there. Uh, still more to come. Uh, this courgette, this is one courgette plant here, and it is doing incredible. I reckon we've had 100 courgettes off of it already. We've got three leaders, and there's one. There's another, and then the third one's over there. I mean, look at that. Every single one of those has been a courgette all the way along there. So I reckon there's been 30 on each one easily um runner beans well we put too many runner beans in again always do that uh you always think yeah put a few more in but yeah been completely overwhelmed with runner beans and they've just about finished there's hardly any flowers left on them um but we've still got some nice beans coming so so they've done well and they've gone up the up the strings right up to the right up to the top we've had to get the ladder in to harvest them and everything so these are volunteer tomatoes again. I just let them have three of these ones and uh, three trusses and they've done pretty good. Even though they're lying on the ground. We're not watering on the surface. I've got all my water underground or under the soil, uh, compost. So uh, yeah, ignore all that. That's volunteer for salis or something. I've really no idea how that all came there. It, it didn't look like very much a couple of weeks ago and it's just suddenly gone crazy. Uh, need to get on top of that. Uh, over there are the peppers. We got chocolate colored peppers. I don't know if you can see any in yet. There's one. Uh, where's it? There it is. There's two or three almost right there. So peppers have done pretty good, but this is, this is what I'm most pleased with. First time I've ever grown watermelons. And look at these suckers. Huge, huge. I mean, let me get my hand in here. Look at that. It's massive. Um, never grown watermelons before. We've harvested two already and they taste, well, the best watermelons I've ever had. And I think there's another 12 here. And that's just from six plants. And we put down the black silage sheet. And that's all more volunteer tomatoes. And I, I didn't really do anything to that, I have to say. That, that corner was just sort of left to go. Uh, there's a few over there on strings, but anyway. That, that corner, don't look at that, don't look at it. Uh, even got tomatoes growing out of my compost bin. Um, these tomatoes though, I have been maintaining, looking after, and I think they're, they're, well, they're called Pink Brandywine. And we've been harvesting these for six or eight weeks probably. And they are, they are incredible. And there's, there's the line of them. I got them all up on string. See, this side does look a little bit more managed. Uh, and it is. We've already taken loads off of these and I need to do another pick again today. The biggest one I've had, I've weighed it, was two pounds, about 900 grams. But, you know, pretty much all of them are over a pound. Look at this. You know, just huge loads of them and they taste pretty good too quite nice uh this is more of this for salad stuff did actually plant those plants there and i've tried topping them off but they just re-sprout out again it is a proper mess and this is the back of the runner beans uh, and then these tomatoes these are the cherry ones we actually got those from the local grocer we just squeezed a, a tomato in february or so into some compost and this is what came up. So we didn't buy that seed at all. No idea what variety it is, but they're doing pretty good. And then right down the bottom, we got some uh, money maker as well. That's what the variety is called. And they're doing all right. And then right at the back there, yeah, there's some aubergines. Don't know if we're gonna get any, but they're now flowering. I think there's a couple starting to form, but not impressed with the aubergines this year. And then there's just a few little sprout plants that I had left over. I didn't have room for them outside, so I put them in here to see how they get on. 
So, there we go. And the water system, well, I think I made a video about that already, but three lines and holes 18 inches apart. And I got that gravity feeding now from a, a thousand liter IVC, which is up near the borehole. And that's just running down across the field and just trickles in. And I put in one each side every week. Uh, so it's completely dry on the ground. There's no moisture being put on the surface at all. I just exposed this one actually. Let's have a look. There's the hole somewhere, somewhere there. And normally it should be covered. And uh, most of them are a bit deeper. I just pulled that one up. Uh, so mostly it is a bit deeper. Anyway, there we are. Really pleased with these tomatoes. Really pleased. Look at my watermelons. <laughs>